Gaffer, we're doing okay at the moment, aren't we? So far, <laughs> been a good start, yeah. We've, um, yeah, it's going well. We're, the team are playing well. We're getting some good results and we're sitting top of the league, which is great, but it's only 10 games played, still a long way to go. How satisfying is it for you seeing what you're doing on the training field? work out on the pitch week in week out at the moment as you say yeah that's that's what you do it for it's um it's no better feeling when you're putting together a plan and you try and get your ideas across to to the players and and then it's over to the players to go out and try and execute so they're doing brilliantly at the moment they're taking on the information and they look as though they're enjoying it that's the main bonus for me the main plus is that every one of them are playing well they're in they're in good form and the playing with smiles on the faces, so the longer that continues, the better. Is there anything about how it's going that's pleasing you more than others, or, or is like pleasing you the most? Um, I think probably the overall satisfaction we've got is that it isn't just one player who's playing well. There's mm -hmm. like a whole squad are contributing, so we've seen the impact that the substitutions have made in in the last I don't know five six games, whatever it is, and. You know, the, whoever starts the game is, is performing and then we're getting lads who are coming on the pitch and, and carrying out and, and finishing the game plan. So, yeah, just that the, the whole squad, I say, uh, evolving. I think we're getting better. We look quite organised, out of possession, in a new system. Um, we've been decent from set plays. Attacking-wise, we've created loads of chances. Um, Mark is working so hard on designing different things every week and, and Nance on, on the defending side of it is... He's doing a brilliant job as well, so everything's sort of clicking in, into place and I say we just want to keep it going. Yeah, and keeping it going. We've got two really tough games again <laughs> in a week, starting at Wickham. Bit of a bogey team for us, aren't they? But how are you looking ahead of it? Yeah, look, they're, they're a tough team to play against. There's, it's undeniable how they play. It's quite clear what they do and what they're good at. And it's, I say it's tough to play against. It's... Um, probably the polar opposite of the type of game that we've just witnessed on Sunday. It's going to be a different test, but it's one that we've got to try and stand up to and, and still try and play our football where we can, still try and cause Wickham problems. But, but yeah, we're under no illusions that it's going to be a hard game because it always is. Yeah, up to, you know, considering their incredibly high standards in recent seasons, it's been a slower start this year. But as you've kind of alluded to there, you can guarantee that they will, yeah. they will be up for this game. Yeah, they've had... I think they had a slower start than what would probably be expected, but they've had injuries and whatever, mm -hmm. so I think they're getting a more balanced squad together now. They've got the, the players at the top end of the pitch firing, they're getting going. Mimetti in particular, the, the young lad who plays, he's looks a real good talent, he's playing well. And um, and yeah, you know that they'll keep going. Gareth Ainsworth team, that's what they do, they'll keep going and keep going. And as the season progresses, and they always seem to get stronger, so... So, yeah, we've got to go there and be at our best to try and get a result at the weekend. Just, just finally, slightly away from the football side of things, we published our uh, financial report earlier today, so this week, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it, it showed incredible amount of revenue um, that are coming in the past 20, uh, 12 months. Uh, just from your perspective, I know you, you know you don't oversee all of that sort of stuff, but just from your perspective, wh where do you feel, how, how do you see the club is at the moment? I think the club's in a really good position. Actually, I read the report briefly today when I was down on the training pitch, and um, it looks great. And look, my concern is to try and bring in, get the, the stadium as full as possible. And to do that, we've got to play some good football. We've got to get some good results and keep the fans wanting to come back week in, week out. If we can do that side of it, then everything else goes hand in hand. The replica shirt sales was, was brilliant. I've read. The, the income that we've generated through the new grandstand is, is all going well so all of that all goes hand in hand it's, it's not just one department it needs to function the whole football club needs to function if we're going to produce you know financial reports like we have so I think it's brilliant and I'm sure Simon and, and Andrew are pleased with how everything's going at the moment but they will say exactly the same as us it's, it's still a long way to go from where we want to get to and, and we all just keep working hard to get there